My name is Rick Martin. I'm the chief financial officer of a company in Salt Lake City called SA International. You know, we started selling subscriptions in 2013 and we just started a manual system. I had a couple salespeople just go out and start selling them. And uh, after a month, they had sold like 100 to 120. We said, stop, we need a system to take care of all this processing. So we, we developed a homegrown system and it was developed in Europe by our SAP consultants. And it, the first pain point was, it was expensive. Okay, it probably cost us 60 to 90 thousand dollars and uh, we started selling subscriptions and then we noticed that every time we had a customer come in with a special request they wanted to pause something they wanted to move a date they wanted to add something then we had to call our developers and the developers would send us a quote and they get the price it'd be two or three weeks and we'd get it changed and and then another one would come. And it just was a continual series of cost adjustments and delays. About four years after we started that, we doubled down on our homegrown system. And we said, we need a version two. So we developed another version two with all the things that the customers had asked for. And, uh, and the process still continued. Year after year, dollar after dollar, and delay after delay. And uh, that was a serious pain point. And then when I started dealing with our, our in-staff people and asking them, how much time are you spending just maintaining this system? And our, our project manager says, I'm spending 80% of my time on this system. And then the other 20%, I'm ask, answering questions to our customer service people. And uh, that was mind blowing. And uh, at that point, we got a new CTO. And our CTO came in and he says, well, this represents like more than 50% of our business. I need to take a look at this homegrown system. And so he starts looking at the code and he says, whoa, this is really weak stuff and it is not solid. And he says, this represents millions of dollars of our business. And he says, I am not confident in this homegrown system. We need to find a professional company who does this for a living and knows how to do it. So we started a search. And uh, when that search uh, took place, we found three that we looked at very closely. And Chargeby was one of those three. And when we looked at Chargeby and the other competitors, I won't mention those right now, uh, the experience was miles better than all the competitors. Then I came on board with Chargeby and we made the move. And we have been so, so glad we made that decision. The, the Chargebee community has been so welcoming to us and responsive to our needs. And the product is so able to be easily adapted quickly. Things that would take weeks for us to adapt with our homegrown system, he can do it by himself in two or three minutes. And so it saves us a tremendous amount of time we're much more responsive to our customers and our CTO and myself have an assurance that the finances, the money is secure, that the system's not gonna go down, we're not gonna miss a month's worth of billing and all these potential problems that we saw. So it's been a very good move for us. Oh, and I don't know if I just told you at the end of that, he says, Rick, now I spend 10% of my time I would say secure, professional, ease of use. Um, those are the things that I could say. And those three words summarizes what our company sees in Chargebee. And the, you know, the benefits far outweigh the cost. Uh, and, uh, and, and just recently, Chargebee is now helping us to grow our subscriptions, not just bill what we collect, but it's actually helping us and the new programs and the new modules that they've added are helping us to grow and communicate with our customers and potential customers. So it's a win-win for us everywhere. Yeah, so we are a global company with offices around the world and <clears throat> 
At first, we were just selling our subscriptions in North America, and we expanded first to Europe and started accepting the Euro. But then we saw other markets that we wanted to get into, that there were a lot of people there. We didn't have an entity in Brazil, and so it became, how are we gonna get subscriptions down there? And then we opened an office in India, and uh, that was a huge market, and we wanted to get our subscriptions there. And what was really interesting here is that Chargebee had the solution for both the Brazil and the India entities in a way of getting a payment method or a gateway to them so that they could pay in their local currencies. And that was really important because they don't have international credit cards in those parts of the world. They have a, a national credit card or a payment system. And so they've already got the systems already set up and the, the interface was a matter of an hour or two and uh, suddenly we had it available. We started testing it and uh, fine-tuned it and we were ready to go. So it has helped us immensely uh, to know that we have 30 some odd gateways that are available through Chargebee. We can pick and choose or take them all and uh, get it to our customers, which makes it easier for them to engage with our company and buy our product. That's what I can do in a finance department with Chargebee's help to grow our company internationally. Well, growth is what our businesses are all about. And we are growing our, our subscription market. We, we base it upon the number of subscribers that we have. We're growing 20% per year. And, but Chargebee's added this word, efficient growth. Yeah, now that that complicates things a little bit and to be able to add uh, subscribers and customers to us in a way that um, is cost efficient as well as a way to engage them where they know our product and they want it and uh, it's not a hard sell and so we're learning uh, with Chargebee's help that becoming, uh, growing is one thing, but growing efficiently and profitably is another. We're profitable, but this gives us another way of looking at how to do that, how to reach out to the potential customers that we have, as well as reaching out to our existing customers to remind them why they bought our product, the benefits of the product, so that they don't forget and unsubscribe.